Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Appatron. Um, today I'm going to discuss Substance Painter, which is an awesome program, but it can be a little tedious for a new person coming in trying to import existing models they already have somewhat painted on. Um, my purpose of the video today is to help you with that. Uh, I get this question asked several times already from people saying, hey, well, how do I get my existing diffuse in there? How do I get my existing specular maps in there? How do I just bring in my existing models without redoing them from scratch. So here's a workflow that you can do to uh, do that. Uh, I understand. All right, so let's start by opening a new file, new project. Select the mesh. Uh, it takes object files, 3DS, uh, uh, FBX files, a lot of different file types. I just do object file. It's pretty simple. And then select your normal map. And then check, set your uh, resolution size. Mine's 2048 for that. And then boom, that part's easy. Now, the tricky part is getting your diffuse, existing diffuses to show up on your model in substance. So to do that, the first thing you do is look down here. You have to have your textures loaded in on your shelf. Right now, there's only the normal map. Normal map. So let's go ahead and file, import image. I select on my Raptor Diffuse and my Raptor Specular. Uh, open it up, and there they are. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky. And I'm not exactly sure the reason, I just know this works. Uh, go ahead and do your background fill layer up here. And then drag that down to the bottom layer. This works just like Photoshop layers. Um, it's wonderful. Uh, now, when you click on these layers, here on the tool side, uh, they change and update depending on what kind of layer you're on. So on the fill layer, I could own here, I have my channels, my diffuse, my height, my rough, my metal. So my diffuse, there's a white. So what I want to do is drag my diffuse texture from my shelf over on top of the channel. And actually, don't try to drag and drop it on the, the white box. Drag it on the, um, the, the menu button at the top there, the diffuse area, and then it'll snap to it. Great. All right, now it's specular, but if you notice, I have no specular here, so how do I do that? Well, go over here to your document settings. Under channels, you hit plus and add your specular channel. Now you go back over here, you see specular channels there, activate it, and it pops up down here on your active um, channels. So right now, this default comes in as a ramp, which is like the metallic and the roughness. What we want to do is grab your specular channel from the texture shelf and drag it, same way we did the fuse, on top of the little panel. And there we go. Now we're started. Now we got our existing texture we have. We can start to paint on it and have some great fun. So just a couple of quick things. Let's say, uh, I've already saved this out, but I'll, I'll do it again here. Um, I want to burn my exhaust here. So what I'll do is go over to my particle brushes, click burn, get some black dirt from the material. If you notice what just happened there, that's actually a uh, uh, a, little, a little bit of, a little buggy sometimes. You just hit Control Z if something happens like that. Click on your layer up here to work on your separate layer. Then you can click your black dirt and your fire burn. Then what you want to do is uh, well before I start burning the fire, I want wind to the fire to go different directions. Uh, if you look at your locator, your Z axis and your Y axis and your X axis, I know that Z positive this direction, so I want the wind to go in the negative Z. So I go over here to my physical, uh, physics brush settings. Um, you notice, like, oh, where is it at? It took me a little while to realize, oh, yeah, it's just minimized. So you click on that, and here's all the parameters you can adjust. Now, these do not save once you leave the brush, so every time you can feel free to mess uh, these parameters up as much as you want to figure them out, and then once you come back, they'll be reset. So also keep that in mind if you want to keep a setting. Um, I'm not sure if there's a way to do that yet. But anyways, the global wind here on the Z direction, I want minus. So let's go minus four. And then I'll go ahead and start painting. And you see how it burns to the right. And I'll do the same thing over here. Great. All right, so some cool things we can do with the physics properties, and that's probably the coolest thing since sliced bread on doing some texture editing. Uh, let's add uh, something a little more extreme here. Let's just for just for fun, uh, I'll go ahead and create another layer. This is pretty important. Up here is your layers. Uh, add a new layer. As long as you know Photoshop, 
you can do this just fine. Uh, let's go to heavy leaking. And uh, black dirt's fine. And let's go over to the same thing. Let's look at the wind. I want this thing to be blowing uh, as if the plane is flying through the air. So I'll go ahead and start painting my particle brush. And you can see that it goes in the right direction. And of course, there's a lot of tweaking. This is just a quick example, a little exaggerated. Um, let's do something even cool. Let's do like a, let's do a rainstorm that has the same attributes. Let's do the global wind, same direction, and we'll just start raining. Start clicking and hold, and you start seeing the rain run off to that wind direction and let go. Uh, you can go even more extreme if you want to do like a sandstorm. Let's see here. Let's do that one the same way. Let's 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 get dented up as if we're going long in a sandstorm. Now you can see that that's pretty extreme there. So, but it's 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 an option to do in a localized area because you can always mask out a place. So, um, since I did a layer, I could turn that completely off. Let's create a new layer. And on this layer, uh, let's play with a, a little bit of the brushes here. Let's do a gold material and pick a, a brush for, uh, oh, that'd be kind of cool, some cracks, and put it on here. Start painting on the surface here. Like, oh, that's kind of cool. Be like, oh, well, crap, I painted over my, uh, my windshield a little too far. So, great. You can either erase it or I wanted to show you a little bit. Another little feature you can do here is masking. So just like um, Photoshop, you can add a mask. Um, uh, a white mask will show by default, and you have to paint off what not to show. So let's show, show you that exactly. So now if I go to the white channel, I start painting off where I overwent, overextended my brush. You can see I can paint that off just fine. All right, that's pretty neat. And then you just keep going with the details. Uh, substance, if you're used to substance, you can uh, use all kinds of pre-made substances here. Let's say, oh, I want a copper wing, and I want to paint it on my just an artistic brush. I can start painting it copper look where I want to. Now, it is a little bit to get used to to um, start masking out and having a good clean edge. You can change your brush settings here. I like to go to the default brush and click over here, size and shape, um, your flow, your size, your spacing. Um, there's all kinds of options here for you. But anyways, that's another lesson for another day. For now, I'm wor workflow. All right, so we painted all the details. We played all the great little de uh, options here. Let's just add some dirt. What the heck? There'll be some dirt around here. Just want to have something to show when I export the uh, maps. All right. Definitely not uh, going to keep that. But anyways, good for a purpose, demonstration purposes. All right. Now, I'm great. Awesome. Now, how do I get my existing maps updated? Well, all you do is go to File, Export All Channels. You select what channels you want to export, export to your folder, and name it the Raptor. Might take a few minutes here depending on your uh, your machine. All right, great. Now if I exit out of here, eh, discard that. Let's go to my Raptor, my export, and you can see that I started, kept my details, I started painting on to the texture. Here's my dirt, uh, here's my gold I started painting, uh, here's my fire, and all the other crazy stuff I started doing. Anyways, if you have any questions, great. Um, I'll help if I can, I'm learning this also, but I know this was definitely something to help some of my friends that were trying to use it, and I hope it helps other people too. Uh, if you like what you see, leave comments, and uh, Check out Apatron. Thanks, guys.